So to edit the alignment we've just created, we're going to stay on the Alignments tab and go up to the Edit Alignment button. Once we've done that, we've got two options. With any alignment within Civil Site Design, you can either left click within its proximity, which would be anywhere within this range here. We don't have to snap directly on top of it. Or if you're not too sure where it is, or you're concerned that there are multiple alignments within the vicinity of that click, you can simply right click or press enter, which is what we're going to do. In the form, you'll notice that we have our grading strings. The polyline that was used to create the grading string is viewed by Civil Site Design as a Civil Site Design alignment, so they are available to edit. However, with the one that we're going to use is Road 1, so we're going to select that and press OK. As soon as we do that, you'll notice that the alignment becomes highlighted and there are grips available. The alignments are subject to grip editing when you are in the edit alignment mode. You can't go and select the alignment without running this command and then begin to grip edit because the software will simply just restore the alignment back to its original state. So you need to make sure that you're in the edit alignment form. We're going to move over to the very end of the alignment. And you can see here we've got this grip. I'm going to hover over the grip, left click, and reposition. As we do that, you'll notice that the annotation has been redrawn. So grip editing is a really convenient and quick way of being able to manage the position of your alignment. Now, because we've got the original polyline still there, this is, an, again, another good reason why you might want to keep the polyline within the drawing. I've actually got the original location to snap the polyline back to, which is what I'm going to do now. Now, if you don't have your polyline available um, to snap back onto, it doesn't matter. What you can do is just simply use your nearest snap and snap somewhere along the position of the alignment, roughly in the right location to make sure that you've got that T-shape going on. Also, within the next module, there will be a fresh data set where that snap will have occurred, so it doesn't matter too much. Aside from the grip editing, we've actually got a suite of editing tools found on the first tab in the Geometry tab on the Edit Alignment form. The first one will enable us to add a brand new IP, and you've got to consider these grips really as IPs or points of change along your alignment, to the very start. So if you wanted to add an extra point in at the start of your alignment, say somewhere here for example, we could use that particular tool. If we wanted to add a brand new point along the alignment, anywhere from between the start and the end, this next button will allow us to do that. And then finally, this button will allow us to add a brand new point at the end of the alignment. So it's not just a case of simply editing the polyline and working with it there. You've got to come in and use the edit alignment tools once you've created the alignment to add in additional points of your choosing. We've also got the option to be able to move points freely. This button will actually do pretty much the same as what we just did with the grips, which will enable us to left click. And we're actually going to demonstrate this by left clicking on the button left click close to the point that we want to edit. Now I've got my snaps turned on. It's not really necessary, but I'm just going to turn the snaps off. Left click close to the point. And you can see as I move that around, we're getting that update occurring. And again, I haven't really got the original point to move it back to, but you can see how the geometry is being changed as that's happening. Just going to press enter to finish. We've also got the option to edit a particular location. So if I go and click on edit IP, and then left click on the, the point I just uh, made a change to, you can see that we can go in and change the curve radius. Now, if you're doing um, maybe some super elevation, you've also got the option to add in some spiral lengths as well. So you can actually go in and change these values. So if I maybe change that curve radius from 30 to say 25, click on apply, you can see there how the uh, radius on that part of the alignment was adjusted. Deleting a point along the alignment will actually remove it entirely. And for example, if we were to remove this point here, we would end up basically with a straight or a tangent between this point and the very end of the alignment, meaning we'd have to use the button um, found second in on the left here to add a brand new point back in and then edit it to add a radius to it. The last button on here is the reverse. So if you find yourself uh, in a position where you've created the alignment, and maybe even you've gone as far as creating a string on top, um, you can reverse the direction. So if chain is zero needed to be started up here um, rather than at the right hand side of the project over here, we can click on the reverse button. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm just gonna zoom in so we can see the changes. Strike the reverse button and you can see how the changes have been flicked around. And you see the annotation has also been updated to reflect that particular change.
I'm going to change it back again so change zero is actually going to be starting at the far right hand side of the drawing. There's a few other tools we're going to show you which are not found within this form. The first of which is going to be how to delete. So we're going to click on OK. Also found on the alignments tab, delete alignment. So if we want to delete the alignment from the project, we don't simply go ahead and start deleting it with our regular CAD tools. We need to use the delete alignment. This tells the software that it's being removed from the project. So when we click on delete alignment, we can either press enter or left click close to the alignment. So I'm going to press enter, select it from the list, click OK, and it will warn us, do we really want to delete the alignment? And we're going to click on cancel now. However, because we've got the original polyline still in the drawing, we simply could go ahead and recreate it again. One of the most fundamental parts of using the software is what happens when we delete alignments that have strings sitting on top of them. The software will warn us if we have strings sitting on top of the alignment and in some cases it won't let us delete the alignment if it's being used by the software. Um, so we have to actually go ahead and remove the string first. That's something that we will look at within the road strings module. The renaming part of the alignment is really the, the final part of this um, editing process. If we go back to edit alignment and left click on the alignment rather than maybe produce it from a list, you'll notice that the name is greyed out and this is very important. If there is a string assigned on top of this alignment, we cannot simply go and rename the alignment because the string will still be looking for something called road 1. So it's important that we do not rename the alignment in this particular example um, within this part of the form. There is a specific tool which enables us to rename alignments and strings at the same time. To do this, we're just going to click on cancel. We're going to go to the roads tab and access the following button. Civil 3D users will also need to use this particular tool. You cannot rename the Civil 3D alignment if there is a string assigned to it because the software will not allow it. So we're going to click on rename road string, left click close to the alignment or press enter to produce it from a list and then we could simply go ahead and type the new name. So if you want to rename an alignment or a string within Civil Site Design it is managed via that one button. We're going to click on cancel. Now we're simply going to review how the annotation can be customized within the alignment further.